Hello gamers and welcome to the match against my last opponent at group stage. Noted, I played him before in quick play once I think and lost due to a disc, oh no I won due to a disconnect if I recall it correctly. Uh, my only quick play win so far unfortunately. Um, yeah and we play on Orsha East as you can see and on the left hand side I play in red with Panzergrenadier Großdeutschland and on the right hand side it is um, noted playing the first Fallschirmjäger uh, we both play with balanced income but let's take a look at the divisions first in detail so here we have noted playing the first Fallschirmjäger uh, they are, are quite strong in the tank compartment for an infantry division. So obviously he's got Scharfschütze and he's got nice Panzerabwehr units here with a Panzerschreck 250 meter range, 10 man squad, quite beefy, uh, very versatile. Um, infantry wise he's got Ostlegionäre to start with, Sturmpioniere for close combat, and then the Jäger, basically his line infantry with two heavy machine guns, pretty good unit, and some Falchion Pioneer units on top of that. They are pretty good. And they also have the Raider trade. In B phase, he brings Grenadier units with, um, which are not that great, I think. Uh, but it's not like there are much more options than the Stoßtrupp, which is good. And again, has the uh, uh, Raider trade and also the Molotov cocktail. Then the Fallschirmjäger, very good unit, two, L two heavy, two LMGs and a Panzerfaust. Mo some more Grenadiers in C and some more Fallschirmjägers in C. So he's got a huge number of infantry, 130 in a German division, that's quite a lot. Uh, then he's got uh, the Tiger Führer, uh, four Tigers in B, and four Tigers in C phase, all single vetted. Um, he brings five unvetted LMGs in A phase, no more in B phase. Um, you know, that sounds like a, more like a push, you know, pushing forward in B phase and stuff with his really good units up here. Also the LMG, MGs that I have, some of them with double LMGs. Um, he decided to go for the bike over the PSW lens, which is slightly armored. Um, and not that much more expensive, but obviously the uh, bike is a bit faster on the road in particular. Not that much though. And standard Opel Blitz. He also brings two Nassons and the Püppchen. And I think the Püppchen are really, really good. Um, they only have a range of 750 meter but a lot of penetration and if you get them in the right spots they are amazing. I also have the radar trade so hard to spot. Exceptional stealth. And then they've got he's got this anti-tank gun, the Italian anti-tank gun, um, good range and an impressive rate of fire. It's also interesting that he upvets the Püppchen possibly to push the accuracy mainly. Um, Nasuan, really good range. Panzerschrecks are awesome. Puck 43, interesting choice. Puck 43 over the Puck 40. Um, possibly because of the range. And then the Jagdpanzer, which I think is not that bad at all if you if you play it right. It's quite good. Um, Anti-air. Uh, flag, flag 36s and an SDKFZ which is basically uh, also a, a flag 40, uh, 36 and yeah that's the best you could bring. This might be an interesting option but you can't bring it with an with a truck that also shoots so like a this Breda truck for example to pull that so it, and this it ain't great in my opinion this uh, the flag 38. Artillery it's a bit lackluster standard um, uh, the tap in general standard um, mortars and then the Gebirgshaubitze 
Yeah, oh, he chose that over the light howitzer, which has a double purpose as a anti-tank gun, actually. With at least some heat shells, even though the chance to hit is pretty low. Um, so he will probably use that for counter battery and stuff. It's also got radio, so mm -hmm. it's uh, definitely the better artillery piece. Airwise. He doesn't bring much, only a fighter bomber in A phase and another fighter in uh, A phase. Is that the Italian production line, I think? Um, no bombers at all. And yeah, he's got tigers on the ground to clear up things. Um, yeah, very interesting deck, very good deck. And then jump over to Großdeutschland. Yeah, I might actually, I might actually uh, keep Noted's deck because it looked pretty good. Now this is the deck I played with, obviously with the Aufklärungspanzer in A phase and B phase. Maybe I should have pushed it a bit more with this SDK of that and the assault gun on top of it. I only have 68 um, infantry units. I'm clearly outnumbered, and also he has the better, he has the better. Uh, Units, so yeah, it's a it's a division to actually ban. I didn't ban it for whatever reason. Um, um, so yeah, this is all pretty standard. Some AT capabilities here as well. Not that much though, just in C phase and in and in A phase. Uh, some Panzer four here: Stuckführer, Tigerführer, H Stucks, Panzerführer, and a Tiger. And I think that. Um, my Stuks will have a difficult time against uh, the Tigers, right? Then uh, I did bring this SDK of that here with the assault gun. I didn't bring the Grille, which was a mistake, I think. The Grille should be in the deck. Um, and also in the uh, anti air tab, I do have the Flak 43. And two flag 41s, or two cards of flag 41s. None of the units is well. The none of the flag 41s is upvetted. That's a bit of a mistake, I think. And but I do have the battery for uh, the like to with for counter battery and yes, they can have that 251 two as a mortar unit. I think that actually this one is the better one for, if I recall correctly, the SK 18. Is actually better for counter battery fire, but I'm not sure by heart right now. Better rate of fire for sure, um, and it can be used as um, a little bit as an anti tank gun as well. Both have radio. The howitzer has um, smoke, the heavy howitzer, so maybe that's why it shows it. Um, yeah, so then we've got the planes, not much going on here. Um, so he most likely knew it, so he didn't really have to bring much. I also I have a Stuka and fighters, none of them vetted, so not not a very good uh, choice here. Anti tank tap, I've got um, the Panzer Shreks and the Pack 40s. Now we shall see how it goes in on the battlefield. All right, so back in the match on the left hand side. I play with Großdeutschland um, against on um, balancer against noted uh, first Falschmjäger on the right hand side, also with balanced income. Match one on Orsha East. As you can see, he's kind of pushing out for the city, including two Pippchen um, with a rather defensive deployment. You can actually get to here coming from this side. I tend to be put on this side. Uh, no, actually, yeah, well, it depends sometimes. I think, or can I push here? No, I think this guy can push here. I push in the north, um, including a, um, a flag 40 th 43 already, because I want to win that forest. That's my battle plan. I And this is just a defensive positioning here to secure this road. In the south, I bring quite a few units because I have three flags to protect here. I think the 
Um, <clears throat> this player is in a slight advantage when it comes to the south. Usually one pack goes uh, goes up here, most likely that, but he brings a pipkin, which is obviously going somewhere else. So very interesting. Um, up here we have the first engagements. Everything gets unloaded. I know the this one goes down, and there the it's the heat of the battle. I turned down the volume a bit. Okay. You know, when I zoom in, it's so loud. He plays with smoke here from the Sturm Pioneers. So that's well played. Sturmgruppenführer is coming as well. I'm using quite a few units. The Aufklärungspanzer is what, doing what he's supposed to do. I secured that position. But these units are not moving. He's reinforcing with Ostlegionera and Falschimjäger. And here I have nothing to contest this position. Quite some units in here. Ostleginera are coming. I'm not pushing for whatever reason. Oh, I am a bit actually. And I'm reinforcing as well. I'm still holding the middle with very few units. This time I did move my units forward, unlike in the match against Main Dwarf. So that's an improvement. This Pipchen, yeah, with the range. If there's a push, it'll help, uh, but otherwise it won't help that much. But it'll be hard to detect. Everything calm here in the south. No movement whatsoever. Everything is kind of happening in the middle where he's now reinforcing as well. So I think he wants to solidify his position and then possibly move on. He's got a double LMG here, interesting. There are more Sturmgruppe units, Panzerschreik, Aufklärungspanzer. Possibly get, getting ready. Now he's probing with his uh, cheap Ostlegionär. And there comes a fighter bomber. It's getting off its load, I think, yeah. But it's a good thing I had the flak. But it's just not good enough to kill it. Unvetted. My LMG started to shoot against their LMGs. But I'm going to lose out here. Uh, because he's got two LMGs. So actually, a good call to double LMG this position. With, a not, with two unvetted units. Uh, rather than one vetted unit. And also the pioneers are shooting. Possibly they gave sight as well. It's moving forward. My Flammenwerfer won't be able to stop them. It's very cheeky positioning. And they can go here in a nice and thick forest. And then, you know, just shoot out with 750 meter range. But currently they don't see anything. It's just ready for action. But it actually has no, it has no vision at the moment, but I can't see it either, of course. Now there's a, the Panzer IV. I'm losing the units here, but Sturmgrupp is coming. It should be able to con to defeat. Well, we are with seven M uh, MNS rifles, assault rifles. That should be doable. Let me open this. And here he's shooting and he's... I should withdraw with him, obviously, and save his life. But I, I missed that. And I'm bringing more units, this time to the center, to reinforce it and stop the push. Nothing happening in the south at all. And with my units I couldn't push through. Um, he couldn't push through either. If one could push through, it's possibly me, with maybe an overkill of units here. And he put an attack beacon on my SDKFZ, which he has spotted somehow. Not sure why or how. Possibly this Feldjäger. Yeah, this Feldjäger. And, well, maybe I should give it a move order and move it around all the time. And there comes his 
BF-109 is dropping a bomb on my front unit here, the GD Pioneer. Everything is calm here, but he's reinforcing. He will most likely probe with those East Le Ost Legionäre. All these units are falling back. Now the Pipion is coming. And you will see how effective this Pipion is. What a sound. And did it kill anything? I think it did not, actually. Yeah, there we go. The SDKFZ goes down. And he's moving forward, it's a 30 point unit. I've got eyes on, this, on the road here with these units. But the Pipchen here is on a killing spree. I can't see it somehow. Yeah, and the Panzer Fog goes down, 30 point Pipchen. 70 points or 75, I'm not sure now, uh, Panzer IV. Now I do would have vision, I think, but uh, it doesn't help because the units are not within range, so not very nicely played. And the Pipkin shoots down another unit, and look at the amount of heat shells it still has. 20 uh, in total, and 15 remain. And now it will be ready to shoot again in a moment. I spot the Pipkin with my uh, Jäger and take it out. I didn't lose my Flammenwerfer unit here and they are just here to prevent a further push because I have no infantry. And it's already 1410. Still heavy fights here in the north. Another round. Here guesting on your Ostlegionäre. There's this good Panzerabwehr unit, and my um, plane goes down, unfortunately, to the Italian fighter. And he's swirling around to get some side shots to strafe my units, and he almost killed the Panzergren. Yeah, and this one flak is not enough. It, get, it stresses them out, maybe that helps a bit. But it's not killing them by any means. Now he's kind of pushing here. Now this does that pay off? No, it does not because I didn't hit the truck. Will I get a shot at this one? Yes, but yeah, it doesn't really help. It's just AG shells anyway. And the pack, the loading time for the pack is just too long. It won't ever be able to shoot from this position. I must stop putting a unit in there. It has to go to a different place. Because it just won't shoot with the loading time. It needs to go like here maybe. Or even in this corner here. Down here in the south, nothing happening. But he conquered this flag. So it's 59 now. There's a Tiger Führer. Now I'm pushing him out of the forest a little bit, but there comes a Tiger Führer, that's not good for me. But he misses. Unfortunately the Aufklärungspanzer doesn't manage to take out anything. I should have maybe manually switched to a lorry and down it goes. I did withdraw with the SDKFZ though. The reinforcements are coming in here with some pioneers uh, to kind of maybe counter push this. And there's this very fast puck now. Where is he going? To, where's the puck going to here? To have a good side line of uh, sight for side shots here. Still be far enough away from here. Very good positioning. Now they should easily defeat the Ostlegionäre. They are for whatever reason not fighting. I'm now moving them forward. They go down. And there the match ends. 
the other player was disconnected after 10 minutes 57 seconds yeah and it was you know kills and loss wise it was very evenly matched no that did get disconnected here uh, first kill by a panzer shrek so that's cool and um, is there a hero unit not really maybe this sturmgruppe a little bit and uh, see every hero unit well the tiger führer killed two off clumps panzers the püppchen obviously did a very good job and um, according to the um, regulations of the tournament i could have taken the the win um, because the match had started and stuff and he got disconnected but i decided because it well it was kind of even and i didn't want to my, uh, my uh, it's not like i was in the lead just before the end of the match um, and i didn't want my first victory in the steel division league to um, um, my first to, my first victory to be like a disconnect victory so i said well let's do the rematch because the player who doesn't get re disconnected can decide whether he um, you know wants a rematch or wants to take the victory so there will be another video a live video and a cast of match one thanks a lot for watching until then bye for now